We've got three bags here that are really good contenders for being great travel bags. The Mini Lindy should be the obvious choice, but I guess it depends where you go. We'll do all of that comparison. Definitely this is more sporty. My last video, I made a comparison between this and the Mini Kelly, and a lot of you were wondering if this would be a better travel companion versus the Mini Lindy. They're very different, but we'll just, you know, we'll just add it on just because you asked. Constance is kind of right in between. Um, it still fits enough, uh, but it can still be sporty because it can be crossbody and it can also be nice for a nice dinner if you just wear it on your shoulders. So I feel like this would be a great middle ground since I'm traveling very soon as well. I'm kind of contemplating which bag to bring because yeah, I could bring both. But I like to travel light. Even if I'm going on a bigger trip, I, I don't want to have to care for so many things. And if one bag can do it all, then yeah, which one should I bring? Before we jump into the comparison part of the video, I wanted to share with you a beautiful silk pajama haul. What better way to pamper yourself or of course your family and friends with a great set of pajamas. Before you know it, it's already Canadian Thanksgiving and then Halloween and then Christmas. So it is a great time to start thinking about your holiday shopping. And even when I travel and especially when I travel, I love bringing silk pajamas. They're light, they're thin, they take absolutely no space in your luggage. And the best PJs I've owned so far are from Mom Silk. This color is just gorgeous. It's got a beautiful piping detail all over. And yeah, it will make a really beautiful gift. It has three simple buttons. I went with size small. It comes in five different colorways, including black, white, navy, and a beautiful pink, which I'll show you later. This is in the gorgeous rosy pink color. Beautiful piping detail all over. A pocket here, three really classic buttons. And the matching pants. Look at how gorgeous this silk is. How glossy and really flowy and just beautiful. This color is, oh, this color is heaven. And again, the piping detail. Again, elasticated, so comfortable. By the way, Mom Silk makes pajamas for men's too, so don't think that this is just all for the ladies. You can get it for your father, for your husband, boyfriend. This is a dress that can be a PJ, but it can also be a going out dress. It's actually really cool. Crisscross on the back, as you can see. I got it in the black color. I also own it in the white color in the shorter version, so I chose the black in the longer version because I thought, you know what, if I'm in the tropics and it's so hot, but I want it to be in an elegant dress, simple, very elegant black dress. This is perfect for that. Of course, I can also sleep in it. You can also buy this as a slip for any kind of sheer outfits that you might own. So we've just seen that Hermes made a lot of sheer pieces in their newest runway another stunning 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 pj set very very sexy so this is the top the matching shorts i love that these shorts have the rounded hem here really really nice you can also buy them as separates everything i mentioned you can still buy them as separates or as a set obviously i would suggest the set but yeah look at this it's so pretty you can also wear this as a top. I'm sure some people have done that. Last but not least, I have here a robe. This is called the Michelle Silk Mini Robe. And I love it. The black piping is just so classy. The perfect kind of cover up if someone were to visit or just to lounge around. It's just so pretty. The prices are really reasonable. And of course, if you use my coupon code Amy15, you're going to save another 15%. One of the best materials that you will ever experience if you still haven't tried silk, especially while you're sleeping and spending one third of your life in bed. It's literally the best material you can ever treat yourself to. Each individual piece comes packaged in their own paper packaging, which again makes a great luxury gift for yourself or for your loved ones. So yeah, definitely don't forget to check out the links down below. You will not regret it. I'm gonna go ahead and weigh each individual bag. The bags are currently empty, but with the straps that it comes with, 
So the Constance weighs 416 grams. Nina Lindy is actually 411 grams. It's actually lighter than the Constance. And last but not least, the Mini Boli comes in at 221 grams. That was a bit surprising. I guess these two bags are the same weight only by five grams more for the Constance 18. And although you can fit a little bit more in here, you do have a slightly thicker strap and a softer strap to contend with. Actually a bit surprised that this was a little bit heavier. And the mini bolide is almost half the weight of these two. I'm gonna go ahead and measure the strap drop for you guys. Even though the strap drop for the mini Lindy is changing as we speak, all the new mini Lindys will have a shorter strap drop apparently. So the Constance has a strap drop of about 20, not quite 20 and a half, so just a smidge over 20 inches. The older Mini Lindy, the one that I still own, is 22 inch Mini Bolid. It's still, it's showing 20 inches. Okay, switching the camera angles a little bit, we'll try on the bags. Oh, you see how I'm wearing the skirt over my slip dress? Really cute. So the strap drop on the Mini Lindy is quite a bit longer for a shoulder wear. Although it depends on if you have an older Mini Lindy or a newer one, because the newer ones actually come with a shorter strap drop now. It's like two inches less. As a crossbody, I think they will both work quite well. Close to the body, not too bulgy. Although this is a little bit more compact. Also keep in mind this one is one thin strap, so if both bags have the same amount of things, you might find the Mini Lindy slightly more comfortable. However, as you can see with my dressing right now, I'm kind of in this like kind of nighttime fancier outfit. This bag looks a bit casual. This bag, although kind of casual, shorten it, make it into a great evening bag, just like this. If you guys remember the hack that I showed you, which a lot of people know about as well, you just, you just loop around this strap and then you have a smaller top handle size bag, which, you know, arguably this this is kind of cute and nighttime appropriate as well. Um, more for the crook of the arm, definitely, not so much as a shoulder bag. Mini Bolide, of course, the shape itself is already such a great nighttime appropriate bag, so the, definitely there's no arguing there. It already goes so well with this outfit. Just for the sake of comparison, we'll also do a crossbody comparison between these two. So obviously this being a shorter strap, um, yeah, this will look better as a crossbody, but they're both okay. Uh, especially, I, again, I'm 5'4", so not super tall. Pretend this is a nighttime bag, but it's still a little bulky. I mean, it's okay. It's not too bad, but it's definitely not like the mini bolide where it's really, it's such an appropriate nighttime bag, right? But I think you can make do, especially, you know, it's still, it, it's still, it's still quite nice. Uh, and I think you can definitely make it work. In a pinch, you can make it work for sure. If you're a bit taller or if you have like bigger jackets, then it's gonna show the difference right away there. The Mini Lindy is really great, actually. If I didn't have those two bags, I think the Mini Lindy is still it's still such a cool little bag. It has a cool vibe to it. And I honestly think like it's not ugly. Obviously, it's not like I would go to a wedding with this bag, but if if in a pinch you get into a nighttime handbag, you truly can. We'll try to fit all of that along with, of course, our cell phone. This is definitely, yeah. All of this you would typically have while you're traveling. Passport, I just renewed mine. 
So of course the passport, some sort of shopping bag. So I have this kind of pretty good size shopping bag that is folded down. So we'll put that right in there. Phone, mine is a 13 mini, but just know that this um, bag will also fit a larger size phone. External charger, so we'll just throw that in there as well. Tissue papers and your wallet. I'm getting really tight already. Hand sanitizer or maybe lotion. So that can go in the side with the sunglasses. Yeah, it's a tight fit. I think if you rearranged your bag, you should be able to, but right now it looks like it's really, really full. Lumps in the bumps. I don't love it. <laughs> um, so yeah, would I say that the Mini Bolid is a good travel companion? It could be if you don't have certain bulky things. I think if you remove the battery pack, we're able to close it. Um, it's okay, but there is a bit of, yeah. There are some creases and like lumps and bumps, uh, which is not my preferred way to treat these expensive bags, but you can see the potential there, right? The Mini Bolid is truly amazing as a bag. It just fits so much. So I would say definitely you can fit your passport. That's no problem at all. It's just everything else added together is a lot. And I would imagine you would have to have at least these things. These are quite pretty much essential. All right, let's go ahead and try it on the Mini Lindy. I already know it will fit everything, especially because this is a more boxy shape. It's way better than fitting in a triangle. It's a much more tapered shape. Again, let's do without the organizer because I know not everyone's going to own the same organizer. Some of you may not even have any organizers. Passport. Fits right in there, no problems whatsoever. Um, there's no slip pocket other than the slip pocket on either side, so can't really use that for there. And then we've got our phone. Of course, this will fit a large size phone as well. We might as well put our battery pack. Actually, we'll do that last. We'll do our wallet, coin purse. It's great. We'll do our battery pack. So you could have a different size one. I just happen to have this one, which is a really chunky one. And then you've got tons of space right here, which means you can do your, I mean, there's tons of space actually. You can do a lot more. You can still have this much and then you still have space on top for your sunglasses. So yeah, there's way more space in this bag. We'll try to stuff it some more. AirPods, compact mirror, there's still more space. So we'll just go ahead with our keys. Even though while you're traveling, you don't normally have a big set of keys. You probably just have like a hotel key. But let's just assume you do and then we'll just throw it in because it just, it just fits so much. Rearranged it, I put the AirPods like right in here instead, this corner. Cause you have little corners everywhere since it's a little box basically, right? And you still can put your sunglasses. Honestly, you can even use a little thin pouch, um, but we'll just, yeah. It closes no problems whatsoever. Actually the bag is really heavy now because I have so many things, but it closes whatsoever no problems no crazy lumps and bumps at all actually which begs the question why do i even think about not taking the mini lindy it's kind of like a no-brainer the styling portion of it which is also the reason why i always think about my outfits in the end um but yeah this bag is so amazing let me just weigh how much this is it's pretty heavy so you definitely don't want too many more things right if you're walking all day you're out and about like probably six to eight hours every day if you're not in the proximity of your hotel. It's showing 1,288 grams, which is, it's heavy. It's three pounds that you're lugging around all day. Although this one does have a great shoulder strap, which would be not as bad. Um, so it would still be bearable, but if you have a bad shoulder and you're lugging around three pounds and you're walking around all day, 
it can weigh down one side of your shoulder obviously the lighter the bag the better but um, aside from that you know you can fit a lot in this bag I already know it won't fit as much in this bag but we'll try our best the other thing with this bag also is that um, it has two different compartments so you are limited in how chunky your items are I feel like this is taking a lot of space but since that's what we did with the other two bags, we'll just do the same thing. So shopping bag. And then we have passport, which is too tall like that. So we'll definitely have to do it this way. Phone, we'll put it in the front. Wallet, Bastia, which will fit it in here. Oh my gosh, it's already filling up so fast. I think the mini bowly fits more because we didn't even put our sunglasses yet. Although granted, we couldn't close the mini bowl lead with the sunglasses and the charger, but this is full. I don't even know if I can close it. Let's try. Okay, it did close, but really forcibly. Like I had to force it in. You see how stuff it is, right? By the way, I've never stuffed it this much, which is why I'm like kind of surprised, um, is that you kind of lose the space here in the bottom. It's curved in, so you really don't have, the space kind of starts here. It's heavy, it doesn't even have my sunglasses in, which I'm not mad at, like you can always throw your sunglass on top, you know, just kind of like that. So it's showing 1,037 grams, so a little over two pounds. Yeah, I was actually surprised that this fit pretty much very similar amount to uh, the mini bolide. And especially because the mini bolide, I didn't have to force my things in there. Like this one, I had to rearrange and I had to push it in. I had to shove it in, maybe because my bag is still new. So let's just take a quick tour. We have at the back, right, hand sanitizer, Kleenex, um, my big chunky rechargeable battery pack. Uh, we have my wallet, my Bastia. And then in the front, we have my phone and then my passport. The reason why I put this in front is fabric so you can kind of push it in more and then close it. It's a tight squeeze, man. It's really, really tight and it's so heavy. I would never bring this much stuff in this bag because this bag is small the other good thing about this bag is that it already comes with a built-in mirror so you don't have to bring another mirror all in all which bag do you think wins i feel like it's a hard one for me somehow the mini lindy doesn't quite take the cake for me only because i feel like when I travel, I still want to look fancy and I like to take photographs and it's not just all attractions. I also like to do a little bit of the luxury shopping and, you know, more like date nights, evenings, going out for a nice dinner. So I feel like the Mini Lindy is lacking a little bit in that area. It's still a great bag, don't get me wrong. It's a really, 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 really nice bag. So I'm not complaining about how nicely made and how beautiful this bag is, but it is a little bit more casual, has more of a casual vibe. And technically speaking, it's not really a handheld bag. You can hack it, but it's not meant to be that way and it doesn't give off the same kind of fancy vibe as this one. Obviously, we're not talking black tie or anything like that, but it's fancy enough for me, especially with the H hardware. So I'm a little torn because I feel like I should be bringing both of these bags, although I also have other bags I want to bring. And so I'm kind of in this pickle where I'm like, hmm, which one should I go for? Because for sure, the Mini Lindy is more practical in the sense that you'll have no problems whatsoever fitting every essential possible and then a little bit more whereas with this one you gotta compromise you gotta compromise certain bulkier items passport for sure no problem but if you have even like a bulkier phone or a bulkier charger it's gonna make the difference i feel like the mini bolide i don't know if it's really made as a travel bag maybe for shorter trips definitely um, but I feel like it would be a little bit harder to pack this and not damage it 
I feel a little bit more comfortable packing my Constance and my mini Lindy in my luggage especially since I'm not traveling with just one bag I'll be traveling with a few bags therefore I will be packing out some bags right it's not all going to be on my body if you're able to maybe travel at the comfort of your own car I feel like the mini bolita is great for that because it fits a lot and it's one compartment which is the big the big advantage over the constants because they both fit we just saw they both fit the same amount but I feel like it's an easier time to get in and out of this because once the zipper is open, it's pretty easy reach. This one, uh, I don't know, I, maybe my bag is still new so I still have to like push my things in because they are bulkier things. And you do have to contend with two separate compartments which is always a struggle. If you love Hermes, there's no denying that you'll also want a Constance in your life eventually if you don't already own one. I know some people want to own several different colorways of this bag. I'm not quite there yet. We'll try using this one more first. Um, but I do love the aesthetic of this one very, very much. That's the whole reason why I wanted to get one. This one is a better crossbody length than the Mini Boli, so that's where this takes the point. The Mini Lindy, I love the leather. It's soft and pliable which um, compared to this one, this one is rigid maybe because mine is Epsom, if you have other leather types like Swift, maybe it's better but with the Mini Lindy, I think it takes the cake in terms of it's not fussy at all, it's really really practical which bag do you guys travel with the most? not just these three, let me know down below in the comments if you travel with one bag more than another for whatever reason let us know why I'm always on the lookout for more things, I'm more excuse to buy more things I hope that this video was helpful for those of you who have requested it thank you so much for watching don't forget to check out Mom's Silk, they're just amazing anyway, have a great day and I'll talk to you guys again very soon Bye.